tremendous worry and it's extremely sad that a, a culturally rich country like India is doing this. Uh, we've seen the uh, epidemiological uh, data from the West okay. which shows that a high intake of fat actually is one of the main reasons for the high incidence of uh, uh, breast cancers, for example. Uh, the, the Indian diet classically uses uh, uh, or has a fat uh, which somehow is, has been always considered safe. Even if you look at the oils that you use to make uh, preparations have much, much better safety profiles than uh, uh, what we see in the West. That is one. The second thing is this changeover to the fast food culture means high levels of uh, trans fats, high levels of hydrogenated fats, which are all known to uh, promote uh, the growth of tumors. Even more interesting is just a recent study which has been uh, published which shows that cholesterol levels, increased cholesterol levels will result in a metabolite that directly uh, promotes tumor growth in the breast. Uh, combined with the very sad fact that we have high levels of pollutants in, in the environment, uh, high levels of pesticides in our foods, all of which can mimic the action of the hormone estrogen. So on the one, so you get a very high estrogenic impact on, 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 the, on, on the breast. And it is a fact that uh, in about 10 years ago, the average age at which a girl would attain menarche was about 12 to 13, has come down rapidly to 9 and 10 now. That shows that the exposure to environmental estrogen is more. So bad food, lots of fat, environmental estrogen, the breast cancer rates are going to kick up. Kerala, particularly in Kerala, where the husband and wife uh, both work, there are no grandparents at home. It's a nucleus family. So it's much easier and much more tempting to pick up something from, from a fast food on the way home. Uh, so we, uh, the surprising thing is despite all, despite all this, there was a recent study which was done, I think, in, 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 in the UK, which it was actually done by the, the cereal company uh, Kellogg's. Okay. And they did a, a global survey and concluded that the world's healthiest breakfast is idli and sambar. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs>